Attention all Canadian seniors and their loved ones. We have some electrifying news that's set to transform your golden years. After years of relentless advocacy and unwavering dedication, the Canadian government has finally taken a momentous step towards ensuring the financial security and well-being of our beloved seniors. In a groundbreaking move, the Minister of Seniors, Seamus O'Regan, has signed a bill that will increase the Canada Pension Plan CPP payments for seniors to an unprecedented $1,025 per month. Mark your calendars, because if the strong signals are correct, this life-changing increase is expected to take effect on April 15, 2024, just around the corner. For too long, our seniors have been forced to stretch every dollar, making difficult choices between necessities like food, medication, and shelter. But today, we celebrate a victory that will alleviate some of the financial burdens weighing heavily on the shoulders of those who have dedicated their lives to building our great nation. Every year, the government takes taxes from us for every transaction we make. But have you ever stopped to ask, what do we truly get in return? Shocking statistics reveal that a staggering one in four Canadian seniors live in poverty, struggling to make ends meet with the meager CPP payments they receive. Worked hard all your life paying into the system, but now your CPP payments have you feeling anything but secure? We've all been there. Those meager pennies from the government just don't stretch far enough these difficult days. But don't let the goldenrod years turn into the olden day blues. If you're watching this video, we urge you to hit that like button and spread the word far and wide. This is a monumental achievement that deserves to be celebrated and shared with every senior and their loved ones across the nation. Who knows? By liking and sharing this video, you could be playing a pivotal role in ensuring that even more seniors receive the support they desperately need. And for those who engage with this content, I will personally pray that they and their loved ones receive these increased benefits as soon as possible, perhaps even by tomorrow. Imagine the profound impact this increase could have on the lives of millions of Canadian seniors. No longer will they have to agonize over choosing between paying for life-saving medication or keeping a roof over their heads. No more sleepless nights spent worrying about how to afford basic necessities like food and utilities. With an extra $1,025 in their pockets each month, seniors can finally breathe a sigh of relief and focus on enjoying their golden years with the dignity and comfort they deserve. This increase in CPP payments isn't just about numbers on a bank statement, it's a beacon of hope, a lifeline thrown to those who have weathered life's storms. Picture this. After years of hard work and dedication, seniors across Canada can finally exhale, knowing that the fruits of their labor will sustain them in their golden years. No more sleepless nights spent worrying about how to make ends meet or which bill to prioritize. Instead, they can relish the simple joys of retirement, whether it's a leisurely stroll in the park, spending quality time with loved ones, or pursuing hobbies long put on hold. This increase isn't just about financial security. It's about restoring dignity and peace of mind to those who have given so much to our nation's prosperity. Imagine the possibilities that this additional income could unlock for Canadian seniors. No longer bound by financial constraints, they can finally dust off those neglected paintbrushes, immerse themselves in the pages of a long-abandoned novel, or even learn a new language they've always dreamed of mastering. The freedom to pursue passions and hobbies isn't just a luxury. It's an essential part of a fulfilling retirement. And let's not forget the joy of being able to spoil their loved ones. Whether it's treating grandchildren to a special outing or surprising a spouse with a romantic dinner, this increase isn't just about money. It's about enriching lives and creating moments of pure happiness that money can't buy. The significance of this moment cannot be overstated. It's a testament to the power of collective action, a victory for grassroots advocacy, and a reaffirmation of the government's duty to its citizens. For years, dedicated individuals and organizations have stood on the front lines, tirelessly championing the cause of our seniors, amplifying their voices, and demanding the recognition and support they rightfully deserve. And now, finally, their efforts have borne fruit. 
the Canadian government has listened, responded, and taken decisive action to ensure that our seniors are not forgotten or left behind. This groundbreaking move is a triumph for democracy, a reminder that when we come together and raise our voices for what is right, real change is possible. The decision to increase CPP payments to $1,025 per month is more than just a numerical adjustment. It's a symbol of compassion, empathy, and a commitment to social justice. With this bold move, our leaders have shown that they not only recognize but also actively address the pressing challenges faced by our seniors. It's a reflection of their unwavering dedication to upholding the values of fairness and equality, ensuring that every Canadian, regardless of age or circumstance, can live with dignity and security in their later years. This milestone isn't just about financial stability. It's about honoring the contributions of our seniors to the fabric of our society and providing them with the peace of mind they rightfully deserve. It's a promise fulfilled, a step towards a future where no one is left behind and where the golden years are truly golden for all. In prioritizing the well-being of our seniors, the government has exemplified the very essence of Canadian values, compassion, respect, and gratitude. It's not just a policy decision. It's a reflection of who we are as a nation. By extending a helping hand to those who have paved the way for us, we demonstrate our appreciation for their sacrifices and contributions. It's a recognition of their wisdom, their resilience, and their unwavering commitment to building a better tomorrow for all of us. In supporting our elders, we not only honor their legacy, but also invest in the future of our nation. After all, it's through their guidance and wisdom that we can navigate the challenges ahead and build a society that is more inclusive, more compassionate, and more resilient for generations to come. While the increase in CPP payments is indeed a significant step forward, it's essential to take a balanced view and acknowledge the challenges that still lie ahead. The rising cost of living, especially in critical areas like healthcare and housing, continues to pose a significant burden for many seniors. Despite the additional income provided by the CPP increase, some may find themselves stretched thin, struggling to cover essential expenses and maintain a decent quality of life. Healthcare costs, in particular, can quickly eat into fixed incomes with prescription medications, medical treatments, and long-term care services often consuming a considerable portion of seniors' budgets. Similarly, the ongoing issue of housing affordability remains a pressing concern, with property values and rental rates outpacing income growth in many parts of the country. As such, while the CPP increase is a step in the right direction, it's crucial for policymakers to address these systemic challenges comprehensively to ensure that all seniors can live with dignity and security in their later years. In addition to the immediate concerns, we must also consider the long-term impact of inflation on the increased CPP payments. While the boost in income is undoubtedly a welcome relief for seniors, the relentless march of inflation could gradually erode the purchasing power of these payments over time. This could leave seniors vulnerable to renewed financial insecurity as the cost of goods and services continues to rise while their fixed incomes remain stagnant. To safeguard against this threat, it's imperative that the government maintains a proactive stance, constantly monitoring economic indicators and adjusting policies as needed to counteract the effects of inflation. This includes exploring mechanisms such as indexing CPP payments to inflation rates to ensure that seniors' purchasing power keeps pace with rising costs. Additionally, ongoing efforts to enhance financial literacy among seniors can empower them to make informed decisions about managing their finances in an inflationary environment. Ultimately, it's essential for policymakers to remain vigilant and responsive to the evolving economic landscape, prioritizing the financial well-being of seniors and ensuring that the support provided to them remains both relevant and adequate in the face of inflationary pressures. By taking proactive measures now, we can help mitigate the impact of inflation on seniors' quality of life and ensure that they can continue to live with dignity and security in their later years. While this monumental achievement deserves to be celebrated, 
it is essential to maintain a balanced perspective. As significant as this increase is, it does not represent the end of the journey towards comprehensive support for Canadian seniors. There are still numerous challenges that must be addressed, such as rising health care costs, housing affordability, and the ever-present threat of inflation. Health care expenses, in particular, can be a significant burden for many seniors, with costs for medications, medical treatments, and long-term care services often exceeding their fixed incomes. The government must continue to prioritize affordable and accessible health care solutions to ensure that seniors can maintain their health and well-being without sacrificing their financial security. Additionally, the issue of housing affordability cannot be overlooked. As property values and rental rates continue to rise, many seniors find themselves struggling to keep a roof over their heads. The government must explore innovative solutions, such as affordable housing initiatives and rent control measures, to ensure that seniors can age in place with dignity and without the constant fear of displacement. Finally, the threat of inflation remains a looming concern, as it has the potential to erode the purchasing power of these increased CPP payments over time. Proactive measures, such as indexing payments to the cost of living and implementing policies to control inflation, will be crucial in maintaining the long-term effectiveness of this financial support. This momentous occasion is not just a victory for Canadian seniors today, but a beacon of hope for generations to come. However, our work is not done. We must continue to raise our voices and advocate for comprehensive support that addresses the multifaceted challenges faced by our elders. If this news has ignited a spark of hope within you, we urge you to fan the flames by spreading awareness far and wide. Share this video with your loved ones, your communities, and your social networks. Together, our collective voices can amplify this message and ensure that no senior is left behind. Subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, and join us in this movement to create a brighter future for our nation's seniors. Every like, every share, every subscription is a vote of confidence in their well-being and a commitment to fighting for their rights and dignity. Remember, the power to drive meaningful change lies within each and every one of us. By standing together, united in our resolve, we can create a society where every senior can age with grace, respect, and the financial security they so rightfully deserve. While the challenges faced by Canadian seniors may seem daunting, this historic increase in CPP payments represents a monumental victory that should fill us all with hope and optimism. It is a shining example of what can be achieved when we come together as a nation, united in our commitment to supporting those who have paved the way for our collective prosperity. Imagine the smiles that will grace the faces of millions of Canadian seniors as they receive their newfound financial security. Picture the relief that will wash over them, knowing that they can finally afford the basic necessities without sacrificing their hard-earned dignity. Envision the spark of joy reignited in their eyes as they rediscover long-forgotten hobbies and indulge in simple pleasures that were once out of reach. This increase represents more than just a financial boost. It is a symbol of our nation's gratitude and a testament to the values of compassion and respect that define our Canadian identity. It is a promise fulfilled, a commitment honored, and a beacon of hope for generations to come. While challenges may still lie ahead, this milestone serves as a reminder that together we can overcome any obstacle by standing united, raising our voices, and advocating for the well-being of our elders we can create a society where every senior can age with grace, dignity, and the financial security they so rightfully deserve. So let us celebrate this victory, but never lose sight of the greater journey ahead. Let us embrace the spirit of optimism 